Good morning, modern steaders. We got a rough job this morning. We're on baby goat watch. <laughs> we're gonna go check, see how the babies are doing. First, we should feed the piglets. What are you guys doing, huh? Huh? Oh, big stretch. You hungry? The crazy white chicken. Oh, I was gonna say, must have slept in New York City, but I see her now. She's hiding on the other side of that rock wall. She's over there. I'm betting she's gonna jump on the feeder and then down into the pig pen. We've decided not to clip the crazy white chicken's wings. We like seeing her coming around and going here, there, and everywhere on the farm. And she does go back to New York City to lay her eggs. So as long as she's staying safe and nothing's, no predators are trying to get her, we're gonna leave her out and just let her do her thing. Good morning. Good morning, Hope. What well, Buttercup, you don't need to do that anymore. Good morning, Mama. Willow doesn't like not being out during feeding time. Don't worry, Willow, you're gonna get your own. Nope, stay in. Don't worry, Willow, you're gonna get your own. You get your very own bucket. Look at that. Hey, babies. All you, all you kiddos are looking good this morning. Come on in, little one. So cute, so cutey, cute, cute. It's like puzzle pieces. I've been giving Willow grain to help keep her milk production up. Yeah. Such a cutie. We can't wait till the weather gets nicer and we can take him outside. Right now it's 35 degrees out. And everything's just still muddy. What do you think of all the babies in the barn, Hope? Give me some more water. Oh, Blossom. I don't know what it is, but those two ducks don't want to go into New York City and sleep at night. We'll have to watch and see this morning. It seems like every morning when I open the door, they try to rush into New York City. Let's see if they do it this morning. You got me going in? See, they want in New York City. Oh, I don't get them. Here comes the white chicken. Morning Figaro. Is she coming in? She can't make her mind up. Figaro's keeping an eye on him. You making sure the chicken's staying safe?
Let's go, crazy birds. There you go. It's always a feeding frenzy with these guys. We like to have it so they don't have any feed at night. This helps slow down their growth rate. If you have feed in front of them 24 seven, they grow a little faster. But you usually end up having more dying on you because they grow too fast and their heart and stuff can't keep up. So every morning it looks like a freedom. Every morning it looks like a feeding frenzy because they didn't have feed in front of them for about 12 hours. It's the end of the world to them. Cornish crushes are like little pigs. They're bred to eat and gain weight, but you gotta control it too at the same time. So when they don't have feed in front of them, they get kind of nervous. They're rough and hope it's soft. I hope it's not. Probably got a bean They're both behind you. It looks like there's really a long goat. <laughs> well, you're a long goat. <laughs> you're butting ahead. <sighs> Look at that long goat. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. The little ones are loving the hay already. The little one loves, that one definitely loves hay. The white one was eating it too. Or at least playing on it. How are you doing your little dance? Oh, do it. Skip, skip. Do a little skip. He's the, that one's the most skittish, yeah. Is that good hay, Willow? That's some good hay. Are they already? They're loving okay, it. She loves it, you know. Is that good? You're all eating hay. Is that some good hay? You want to tell them what sexes they are? Yes. This one is a female. This one is a female. And this one is a male. So we got two females and one male. Yeah. So now we need names for them. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna leave you guys and girls alone for a little while. We'll come back down a little bit to check on you. Does it bother you? Hope that you're not the baby no more. Are you looking forward to not being the bottom goat? Huh? We noticed today while we were out driving that it looks like the road bands were lifted off the roads. That means we want to get ready so when they start doing the site work, we're not holding them up. We got a few more things to clean up.
Tough job. You got the tough one. I have a tough job. Hey, babies. Oh, you're starting to bounce around. Are you starting to bounce around? Are you gonna come visit me today? Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hi. Hello. Come here. Come see me. Yeah, come and see with me. This one really likes me. Huh, you like to sit with me, don't you? You like to sit with me. You like to sit with me. How come you don't want to sit with me? Huh? You're not so sure about me? I'm nice. I'm nice. What do you want to be named, little girl? Huh? She's got cool, like, puzzle piece markings. Yeah. Oh, it's going to look so nice once we get this lane graveled. Looks a lot better just being picked up now. I hear Figaro, see Figaro running. Crazy. I or or I don't know if he scared them. You guys, I got that grass eaten down so good. Look at all them eggs. It's a nice color. They're doing good on their seaweed and calcium. Hey ducks. Oh, you got all the baby goats. Mm -hmm. He likes his head scratched. He likes his head scratched. Yes. Oh, he loves it. He likes it. Yeah, you want them more? No. Mm -hmm. 
Now you don't. He's fussy. Hmm. You like this? Mm-hmm. And she's oh, she like you holding her feet. Yeah, she likes it like this. And then she kind of kind of makes like a purr sound. Hi. Hi. Are you peeing, little boy? Come over here and see me. It has to be his idea. I try to make all their ideas, but sometimes right. you have to pick them up a little. She loves it. So, today I feel like this one's bigger than this one. Oh, really? Yeah. Hope, what do you think of all the babies, huh? You like the babies? Yeah. She's right here. Are they in your old area, huh? They're where you used to hang out. You got some cud in there. Chewing your cud. Oh. This is a black sunflower seed. Help them with their coat. Yep. You gonna ride on her back? What are you doing? Oh, now you're doing a dance. Oh, now I'll get a drink. Must be since they've been on pasture. The sun is starting to set a lot later now, so I try to come out later to lock up all the chickens and feed the goats. Of course they stop, but Blossom and Hope are blatting so loud, they're saying, hey, where's our food? You're like a half hour later. They're funny. Do you piggies want a night snack, huh? There you go. <laughs> the crazy white chick scare you there, Chop. Pork, you coming out? There you go.
the loudest goat over there is Blossom. Blossom, you noisy. Hope, what are you doing? You saying you want your night snack? You're late? I know. All three of the girls, well, except for right then, have been getting along really good. You know where your snack time is. Come on. No, that's for Willow. There you go, we'll give Willow some of her own. Forgot my headlamp, so I don't know how good we'll be able to see the baby goats. Can barely make them out. Here you go, Willow. You're a good mama. Have a night snack. Want to make sure we keep plenty of water on out here for her. Good night, Willow. Good night, babies. Good night, John boy. <laughs> if you guys know what TV show that's referencing, leave it in the comments down below. That might be giving my age away a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. You guys gonna say good night?